Hello, uh, Fear the Meerkat here. Welcome to another episode. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these? Yes, good idea. But, uh, yeah, welcome to another episode of Let's Play, um... Moonhag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. Uh, it's been so long since I last did this, I don't, I don't remember, it's been like a week since I last did this. Uh, what's the, ga is the game called Tell Me Why? Yes, this is another episode of Tell Me Why. Crafty goblins go here. Okay, so that's four... Five, six. Six that I apparently didn't get. Never mind. So you want to examine these. The very old beavers repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? Right, it looks like it's the roof first. Huh, she fixed the roof shingles. Then I think it's the walls. So I assume this is the walls. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. Then I think it was a support post. She slapped the post with a- All right. Good. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, he doesn't really like to talk about her. Hmm. Dear Marianne, you could cover your ears every time I try to have this conversation with you, so I thought I'd have a better chance doing this in the letter. I know you don't like saying goodbye, so I'll keep my man and crumbling short and sweet. I want to thank you with all my heart for taking care of me for these past few months. I can't even imagine how exhausted it must have been for you to look after a sick old lady when you also have two small children at home. I know you want me to keep fighting the disease and fighting for recovery, but it's always been a great strength for night to know when it's time to let it go. And that time has come. I'd like to ask you for one last favour. Please take care of Eddie after I'm gone. My poor boy puts on a brave front, f front ever since his father died, but I know he's in pain. I would be so much more at peace knowing he still has family. Maybe he can teach the kids how to fish. He loves spending time with them. Thank you for the warmth and peace you brought in my life. Give the kids a kiss for me, will you? Carol. Yeah, I mean, their mum, again, apart from this one horrible incident, their mum really does seem like quite a cool person, actually. The Crafty Goblin's Good Deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Alright, so this is another get these in the right order thing. Probably this. They helped fix the beaver dam. Well, yes, they did, but these were in the Actually, wrong Actually, I'm not sure. Sorry, my mistake. Um, aha! Uh -huh. 
They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch. There we back. go. They broke open the beehive for the bear. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Nailed it. So I'm guessing these other possibilities, like the, uh, the the beaver helping with the dam, that's just to make sure that we're paying attention or whatever. Those are fake ones, basically. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. The bike and crossing is a specialty gift boutique located near the Oshia Glacier, catering to Gusty. The new channel tourists as well as dust crossing locals. We specialize in assortment of high quality products from home, accessories, handmade souvenirs to personal apparel. And lo oh, you can read it yourself. Yeah, it does look like this would have, um, this would have gone really well. It's a shame. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? Some honey? Maybe not. Some roses, maybe? Or not. Right. A handful Always of red berries? First. Not A newly bloomed bluebell? Yet. Maybe That's... not. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, fresh caught salmon? A newly bloomed yep. bluebell? Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Sorry for the narrow turns of the door like a prison inmate. You yeah, okay? I stopped by mine a couple of times this week, but you didn't answer. I could see the light in the hay loft, so I figured you were in, but didn't want to talk. I hope I didn't ruin everything. I know I probably came on kind of strong, but the thing is I don't know how to talk to a woman like you. You are strong and kind, and you know so much it's hard for me to, to know how to keep up. I guess all that went to my head. But I want you to know that I got the masses, and I'm going to get out of your hair now, and there doesn't need to be any bad feelings. We can pass in the street and say hello or not. It's okay. P.S. I noticed your car was leaking, so I put some sea, sea land in there. You might need to take it to the shop, though. Let me know if you want to come want me to come with you because sometimes these guys try to rip you off. If not, no big deal. Sam. And I think I have one more of these to go. Yeah. The Crafty Goblin's Loot. That's from the Princess and the Two Thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake. Which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... Well, let's, let's do this first. Fruit, not sex. Right. Fruit. Maybe they oh. took some of the princess's fruit. So we'll go fruit. with fruit first. Not some flowers for the cake, maybe. Um. 
Maybe not. Eggs. Okay, eggs and eggs do not appear to be on here. Oh no, wait. Yeah, eggs. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Spoon. Alright. Oh, well, I guess cake wasn't an option. What if okay. you took some spoons? That's it. I always wondered where that oh, drawing went. Nice. She said it was her favorite, and then one day it just disappeared. Uh, are there still more of these? Or are we done? I guess we're done. Uh, you really want to go? That. You sure we've seen, seen everything? Both of those two, we've seen the um, things on there. Yes, I think we've seen everything. Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. Now what? Oh, the argument on the dock. Okay then. I've got a feeling we've nearly finished this. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. I'm not waiting Let's for anything. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. Ugh. What should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. Maybe. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? 
we didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Well, maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was happy to live off our handouts. Hmm. Let's start with this one first. We'll get into the heavier stuff in a minute. You tried to burn down our barn and knocked Tyler unconscious. I never meant to hurt anybody. You weren't supposed to be home. Doesn't excuse the fact that you didn't even stop to help. What do you want me to say? I panicked. I was terrified that this whole thing was going to blow up in my face. I had to do something. Oh, huh. Yeah, I should have worked this out before. Um... Yes, of course, uh, he's, he's a candidate for mayor, isn't he? Um... You were here that night. You saw Marianne and Tyler. Why didn't you help? I know it wasn't my best moment, but she threatened my life. So you just decided to let her drown? I didn't decide anything. Everything happened so fast, I panicked. And by the time I got to town, Brown was already on his way out. There was nothing else I could do. So what do we do now? We tell him he's got to fix the mess he made, one way or another. You failed us, Tom. You need to make it right. I'll do whatever you want. As long as none of this gets out. Excuse me? You want me to pay for my mistakes? Fine. But please, Tessa can't know. This would kill her. Tessa already knows, Tom. No. That's... That's impossible. It never occurred to you the reason Tessa cut Marianne off was you? Uh, I... But she... She never said anything. Oh, Lord. You should try talking to your wife. Maybe if you had, we wouldn't be in this situation. And maybe Marianne wouldn't be dead. Oh, come on. You of all people should appreciate how troubled Marianne was. She was unhinged. Something like this would have happened sooner or later. And you just couldn't risk being there when it happened. Even though it meant leaving her to raise kids out here all by herself. None of this would have happened if you'd manned the fuck up. I didn't have a choice. I know it shouldn't have happened. Well, your mother was a very pretty woman. And she'd been so many places and done so many things. The way I always thought I would have. I got caught up. Love made me a fool. Look, I made mistakes. But this will not go any further than the three of us. Why? We know. Tessa knows. Marianne's dead. There's no point in hiding it anymore. He's afraid it'll tank his campaign. Am I wrong? Jesus, Tom. I've kept your secret all these years. I don't want to go spilling it. But I will if I have to. What? Yeah. Your little story about self-defense. I've never told anyone how Marianne really died. That night, I came out here because I was worried about your mother. Do 
They made me do it. They made me do it. Why did they do it? This is his fault. This is his fault. No! No way! You're a fucking liar! I saw what I saw. Ugh. You're manipulating us just like you manipulated her! Tyler! You're not listening to this, are you? Be smart about this, Allison. Are you sure you want this to get out? You've got way more here to lose than he does. His name will be all but clear, but you... You'll be a killer. What will your uncle say? And Michael? Hmm? Well, the whole town might turn on you. Don't touch her. <clears throat> you know I'm right. Just get out of here, Tom. Tyler and I need to talk alone. Just please. Think twice before making any rash decisions. There are a whole lot of lives at stake here. Leave us the fuck alone. And never come back! Allie, you okay? He didn't let that asshole get to you, did you? Did you? What if he's right? I've been having all of these nightmares about that night, and they were a lot like how Tom said. And now, when I try to remember, that's all I can see. He's trying to mess with your head, and you're letting it work. No, it's more than that. Ever since we started digging, I... I haven't been able to shake this feeling like something's off. Something's off because he put this in your head. Don't let him get away with it. He might not be lying. We, we keep getting things mixed up. We remember totally different versions of the past. Those are just details. This isn't that. She was going to kill me. I'm not so sure anymore, Tyler.
she had a gun pointed at me. She chased me. She said she was going to kill me. She threatened Tom with those exact same words, with the same gun on the same pier. The thing you said to Eddie the other day got thrown back at me. Don't you think it's possible that happened here too? I guess it's possible. Fuck. I, I don't know. And we're never gonna know the truth, are we? Because the second you walk away from something, that's it. Yeah. I guess at this point, you just have to decide what you believe. Me? Yeah. You need to start dealing, Allie. And that means coming to terms with whatever version of the past feels the most true to you. No more running. Whatever you choose. You gotta live with it. Okay? Okay.